Wilhelm Reich was born on March 24, 1897, on a small farm in what is now the Ukraine. A student of psychology, at the age of 23, he became one of Freud's prized associates and began a private practice as an analytic psychiatrist. As a pioneer in the study of human sexuality, he used novel experimental methods to examine, analyze, and measure various aspects of physical lovemaking. He concluded that the ability to love was dependent on one's physical ability to make love with what he described as orgastic potency and coined the term orgone energy, as in the word orgasm or organism, to describe a biological energy that he claimed he had discovered or at least rediscovered in modern times. It is April 3rd, 1952. I, Wilhelm Reich, I happen to discover the life energy. I know what it means for the future development of medicine, biology, philosophy, and natural science. I'm fully aware of it. And in, these, in this awareness, I am completely alone. There's nobody here to listen to what I'm saying. The recording apparatus is the only witness. I hope that someone will at some time in the future listen to this recording with great respect for the courage that was necessary to sustain the research work in organ energy and life energy all through these years. It would appear that this seemingly high frequency ether-like energy may simply be an unrecognized form of bioelectromagnetism, a universal energy that the ancient Chinese culture called qi, the Japanese refer to as qi, the Sanskrit word for the same concept is prana, and ka is the Egyptian word for it. The ka was the ancient Egyptian concept of vital essence which distinguishes the differences between the living and the dead, with death occurring when the ka leaves the body. And this resembles the concept of spirit in other religions. The Ankh is an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic ideograph symbolizing life. And in some esoteric circles, Ankhing is a term given to the occult practice of directly working with this universal energy. In ancient Egypt, it was believed that the orgasm was the key to eternal life and that vital life force was dissipated and lost with ejaculation. This is the true reason behind circumcision and vows of celibacy in the context of semen retention. Also, the cornerstone of Taoist and Tibetan Tantra, where an initiate learns to control the orgasm and therefore the flow of their sexual energy up instead of out. They believe that if this energy is controlled, the human orgasm becomes a source of infinite pranic or vril energy that is not lost. Vril is the term used by the German Vril Society, which was formed well before World War II and dedicated to the study and practice of metaphysics covertly conducting research into psychic phenomenon and this universal energy. Their secret society members, which included some who would later become notable members of the Nazi party, were said to have allegedly ended up in Antarctica by the end of World War II. Es gibt ein Haus in Neu-Berlin, man nennt es Haus Abendrot. Es war der Ruin vieler guter Jungs, von mir, mein Gott, litt ich Not. Hätte ich meinem Anführer 
dazugehört. Ich wäre heute daheim, war jung und dumm, war ein armer Jung, auf den Abweg geführt und gemein. My name is Robert Sepper. Share, like, subscribe, comment, be well, and I will see you next time.